In the Salem Kettlebell Training Basic Skills Clinic, the tall sit is where we stop the get up progression during the day of the clinic. This is because it's already enough. It might even be too much. Your get up progression might be the floor press. Your get up progression might be to the elbow. But if you're brand new to kettlebell training, simply getting to the tall sit means you can get a lot of work done within the get up that you already know in the early stages of training. Progressing the get up is gonna happen at my discretion as your instructor. The first thing you need is the desire to learn the rest of the get up. The second thing you need is a good foundation of the skills that you've already uh, practiced up to the tall set. And the third thing that you need is an abundance of shoulder stability. So for a lot of us, we have jobs that throw us into hyperkyphotic posture where the upper back is rounded, where the shoulder blades are unpacked and rounded forward. These are unstable positions for our shoulder blades. A neutral spine, a long neck, a good deal of thoracic extension, and shoulder packing are things that we need to practice on, the regular, on a regular basis simply to unsit from our daily lives. If that's working, for you and you have the desire to learn the rest of the getup and you have a good foundation of the getup to the tall sit then we can progress to the next stage which is the sweep the sweep is really the central point of the getup and what takes it to the next phase of our developmental movement patterns uh, which is actually getting up from the floor there are two ways in which to get to the sweep or to the windmill position at the end of the sweep. The first that I'm going to go over is something that we used to teach all the time at Strong First, the high bridge. The second is the low sweep, which can often feel more accessible. The reason to choose the high bridge over the low sweep is simply to add another stage of learning before you get to the sweep. And it's a stage in which you can practice getting that balance and getting that shoulder stability before you perform the sweep. Once you sweep the leg, you get into a position called the windmill. The windmill is a standalone exercise outside of the getup. Uh, it's a more advanced skill, uh, but the windmill position of the getup uh, is another place for us to revisit that idea of the plane, which we talked about in the getup to tall sit, which was a continuation of the getup to the elbow. That plane is really important, maintaining those stacked joints so that the bell is simply wedged between itself and the floor by your body and your locked joints. So the get up to the sweep. Grip. Stack and pack the shoulders, big belly breath, roll as one, set the leg, set the free arm, set the bent leg, get tight, big belly breath and arch, crush grip and trigger, to the floor press, grab the post, push, Pull and turn, up to the elbow, 
Swivel the hand, corkscrewing it into the floor, and press up to the tall sit. Now, from here, I can either perform the high bridge or bend the leg and prepare for the low sweep. In any case, this is the finished position, the windmill position. I can sweep back through right into that sit, or I can rebridge and just take the leg through and then sit, unscrew the hand, push off the vertical post, lower the elbow, cover, and roll as one. Unstack, drag around, and repeat. Crush the grip, stack my body, pack the shoulders, big belly breath, roll as one, set the leg, set the free arm, set the bent leg, get tight, big belly breath, and arch, Crush and trigger into the floor press. Grab the post, push, pull, and turn. Corkscrew the hand into the floor and be lifted up. Either high bridge and sweep or bend the leg and low sweep. Now I can revisit this plane. You can see that my hand, my knee, and my foot, along with my body, my kettlebell arm, and the kettlebell itself, are all in one plane. This bent leg is the only thing that's outside of that plane. Now I can simply sweep back through into my tall sit, unscrew, push off the post, lower, cover, roll, unstack, drag around, and repeat. So once again, we saw the plane, getting all the joints stacked to support the weight without muscular effort, or without much muscular effort. We saw two ways to get into that windmill position, either with the high bridge and then sweep through, or bending the leg and then doing the low sweep. I like the high bridge as a stepping stone to the sweep to teach people how to get that balance and that shoulder stability before they worry about moving the leg through and getting into that plane in the windmill position. What it really comes down to is your personal body mechanics and your preference, whether you use the high bridge or the low sweep. They're both a gold standard.